Hi guys, today I want to talk about one of the biggest events in crypto so far. The Ethereum merge is happening in around two to three weeks. And um, after seven years of research, development and heavy, heavy testing, finally the blockchain, the Ethereum blockchain will move away from the very energy intensive proof of work consensus algorithm, which is basically just a way for the blockchain to determine the current valid state. And they're moving away from that to a new algorithm to do the same thing, which is called proof of stake, which will effectively decrease the energy consumption by the blockchain by over 99.9%, like a huge reduction. So um, yeah, very excited. I think a lot of people who are left out of the industry just because of the environmental concerns will now have a way uh, of, you know, look at the whole technology again. Now they all, I mean, now they still have to deal with all the inside trading and the scams and uh, all the other problems the blockchain industry has, but at least the environmental issue will be um, rest, uh, I think for now. So in this video, I want to quickly go over what um, the advantages and the risk of the blockchain is um, and just in general I will just try to explain what the, the event the merge event itself is um, by uh, with a very simple analogy to give you an idea um, but they will also link to uh, other YouTube videos which go in far more detail on the technical detail what will happen and they do a great job for example the Finematics um, explanation of the merge is fantastic um, so there I will not spend too much time but today the one area where I want to focus is what is important for you as an end user as an e-folder uh, if you have a wallet what you uh, what you should be careful of uh, what you should do and most importantly what you should and don't have to do okay let's talk about the merge um, to understand the merge, uh, imagine the Ethereum blockchain is a plane. It's a plane flying in the air and has a combustion engine. Um, and this engine is, let's say, a fossil fuel uh, engine. And it consumes a lot of energy, but the plane um, flies without a problem. But the problem is the energy consumption. Okay. Imagine now the Ethereum core developers, researchers, they come together and they find a new engine they could use for the same plane, um, but with 99.95% less energy. It's a super, super efficient, electric, new type of engine, which was not there before. So, but the plane is already flying. So what do you do? So basically the Ethereum research and core dev team, they start a new engine. I, around a year ago, they start a new engine and they, they just want to see if the engine works perfectly. So they just let it go. They have a separate engine from the plane, which is just testing and testing and testing. And now after so much research and development and implementation, now the new engine is ready. And the merge, the event of the merge basically is having a flying plane and switching the engine from like the old engine out and the new engine in without any of the people inside the plane even noticing a difference. So you can imagine that this with billions and billions of dollars of the Ethereum blockchain is a huge task and needed a lot, a lot of testing. It was an amazing amount it's for just from a technical perspective such an amazing accomplishment to even prepare everything um, uh, for an event like this but this is the basic image you could have in your head you have a flying plane and the ethereum merge will be changing out the engine um, almost um, in a way that nobody will notice Okay, now let's talk about why the Ethereum community wants to move from proof of work to proof of stake. And uh, for that, let's 
very, very roughly see what those two different consensus algorithms do, how they validate. And um, with a lot of simplifications, the, eth the Ethereum proof of work, or any proof of work consensus algorithm for that matter, basically uses an energy to validate the blockchain. In the proof of stake, you're basic, it's a different. You are basically not using energy, but you're depositing money or ETH in that sense into the blockchain as a security that you are not going to misbehave. There are two very, very different concepts to validate the current state of a blockchain. One of the biggest uh, and probably most important benefit of this transition is the reduction of the energy consumption. Like I said, the new, uh, the new method um, only needs basically an internet connection for you to get connected and to have a possibility to deposit your ETH into the blockchain, into a contract on the blockchain, which in the other, the older version, the proof of work version, basically was burning energy and GPU usage um, to validate the blockchain. This is not 100% correct, but for, this, for the simplification of this video, uh, this is the main difference and that explains why um, there's a huge energy reduction. And also there's another benefit, since there's a lot of GPU usage, um, which is going from proof of work, which will not be needed in proof of stake, there will be a great time for any kind of gamer or people who are basically um, waiting for GPUs to get uh, available uh, or at least cheaper. There will be a lot of GPUs flooding the markets very soon. Um, this, is one, this is one of the big advantages. Another one is scalability. And um, it is not scalability in a direct sense that out of nowhere the gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain will go down and the, the blockchain will be super efficient. Um, instead, this, um, this change to proof of stake basically is modularizing, I butchered that word, but you know, I hope you know what I mean. It's modularizing, fuck, um, one thing which the blockchain does, the execution and the validation, which was doing in once, they're separating it in two different um, places. So this is what a lot of good technologies over time become. They're becoming more uh, specialized. So in the beginning of a technology, um, everything is in one code base, everything is one, day, one thing. And once a um, technology matures, usually it gets more and more specialized. So different teams and different people can really focus on one specific responsibility. In this case, it is getting split into an execution layer and a uh, validation layer. But for now, that's not um, that important, but it lays the groundwork for future scalability um, improvements. Like I said in the intro, uh, I will link to Finematic's fantastic video about the merge where you will see those things I described in, in way more detail and I can just encourage you if you have, uh, if you want to learn more about this, um, go check it out. It's very, very um, good summary. Let's talk about what you as an end user uh, should do um, when the merge happens and the answer is very simple and very very important you don't have to do anything this is the only thing you should take away from this video when the merge happens you don't have to do anything you don't have to migrate anything you don't have to transition um, and I'm saying this because being in crypto for a while I know that every scammer out there Every Amazon drop shipping course, whatever, they're all in crypto right now. So I think around the, the September 15 to 22, when the merge happens, there will be an enormous amount of scams out there trying to trick you into approving the Ethereum 2.0 transition or approving something. You don't have to do anything. This is very important. The whole thing was designed from the beginning that the end user and every ETH holder, they will not even notice 
that there is a change in the consensus algorithm. So um, yeah, that's that was basically, there is no new token. There will be no downtime. There is no transitioning you, from your wallet. Um, yeah, this is the most important thing. You don't have to do. I personally, for example, in this time frame, I'm not going to touch anything. Um, yeah, so I hope, um, I think the message <laughs> is clear. Let's summarize. The whole blockchain industry is about to have one of its biggest events so far, which will be the Ethereum merge. The transitioning from the very energy intensive proof of work algorithm into the new, very much more efficient um, proof of stake algorithm, which will reduce the energy consumption, which is one of the biggest concerns in the industry, by 99.95% hopefully beginning a new era um, with a lot more people open to a technology to this kind of technology um, and i suspect around that time of the merge which is predicted between september 15 and september 22 23 there will be a huge amount of scams um, and if you take one thing away from this video is that you don't have to do anything when the merge happens no migration no whatever you don't have to do anything um, yeah if you like it um, subscribe to this channel I will do more videos where I'm uh, trying to explain web3 from an end-user perspective trying to break it down um, thank you very much if you have any kind of feedback on anything I'm very new still to this whole thing so if you have any kind of feedback what I could do better put it all in the comments I will read and reply to all of them Thank you very much for your time. See you soon.